make this fight your fight? Oh yeah, just the fact that I have uh, a lot of a lot of styles. You know, I can have plan A, plan A, plan B, and plan C. You know, that's a good thing that amateur's career left me. You know, train for for any fighter. You know, if he wants to brawl, we can brawl. If he wants to box, we can also box. I can do a lot of things. So I want to be ready this uh, April 9th to um, be the better fighter. You're the number one contender under the WBO. Holder of that belt is uh, Vasil Lomachenko. Still remains to be seen. He's going to stay at 126. But is that, I mean, is that the guy who uh, you have a target on? Well, if right you, now, should you win, if course. I win, um, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind taking that fight. Uh, but like I said, I don't like saying because I got a fight in front of me. But um, if everything goes well, you know, any, any guy that has a belt, I would love to take that fight. I was curious, going into this fight, it seems that people are giving you all the advantages, you know, because you have the youth, um, the prospect here. This is uh, Stephanie Cancel. You're supposed to win, but uh, it seems like when it comes to trainers, Fred Dovich has the advantage, you know, with uh, Robert Garcia, former trainer of the year. Do you think that will come into play uh, the corners? Oh, no. At the end of the day, it's, it's going to be me and Granovich inside the ring, you know. And, um, Robert Garcia, he's, he's proven that he's a He's a great trainer, but I got a great trainer too. I just, he's, he's not as famous as, Gar as Garcia right now, but he will be. Uh, Manny Robles is gonna be, uh, he's gonna be known as one of the best trainers out there. And just the fact he's a hard working, he, if, if we as boxers train hard, him as a trainer, he works even harder. He is always, um, always thinking about new things, uh, working on strategies, and you know, he gives it his 100% inside the gym. And um, so, you know, I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised to see Manny Robles as um, the trainer of the year in, the, in, in later in the year. Uh, top rank has a history of building prospects and the superstars, and you look like you're on a collision course to be the next one for top rank. Is it starting to set in that you're kind of the next guy up that could be the, the bright star out of the area? Hopefully. I wouldn't mind being the next star. I'm very excited for this. Um, it's my dream. It's a dream to become a world champion and be a, um, an idol for, for the kids or for, for, for a lot of fighters out there. So um, if that's the case, I'm, I'm very excited to become that. Oscar, um, you know, man, he's, he's the one that's going to advise you in the corner come fight time. But did he advise you when you laid down your bed for the Super Bowl and ended up... <laughs> no, he didn't advise me. If I think if would have I would have listened to him. I listened yeah. to whatever he said. I really thought they were going to win, but that's what happens. Who's been the biggest supporter in your career or even in your life? Oh, my father. Without, without, well, my family in general. You know, my mom, everyone, you know, all my family. But my father, I would, I would say him. He's been with me since day one. He's the one that brought me in the gym. He's now here. Um, there's a lot of fathers. That are in the corner that sometimes even start problems because they don't know how to manage being a father and a trainer at the same time. And my, my dad's just different. He um, he knows he knows his position with me. You know, he gives Manny his space. He doesn't have to tell me a lot of things. He just he are, we know each other very well. That just by the simple two words, I know what he's trying to say. And um, you know, he he's he's the reason I'm right here right now. What age was that when you first went out walking again? Uh, I was probably five, but the, when I started training, training, I was like eight years old. Oscar, uh, you're taking a former champion who you know, could throw a hundred punches yeah. in a single round if he's standing in front of us. Can you talk to me about strategy? Are you planning on boxing with the more, or are you planning on banging off? Well, whatever he brings. We all know he's an aggressive fighter, but what if he tries to box that day? I'm out. I'm out to box as well. But I'm expecting the best round of it. I'm expecting an aggressive fighter. So I'm gonna be in shape to box all 12, all 10 rounds, or if we have to, I'm brawling up. You know, I don't mind brawling. That's that was, that's my style. That's the style I like to fight, and um, it all depends on that night. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be ready 100% for this. So that's the good thing that amateur career left me, having different styles. So in the gym, I mean, we train 100%, and in the fight, we're gonna have, give it 110%. Your experience is what. Oh yeah, my experience is an amateur, and um, my heart, my trainer, my family, everything's gonna show that night. Um, I'm gonna try to be the smarter fighter that day, and you know, I'm just gonna show it. And also, um, a lot of people are calling this the anti-Trump card, and you being, you know, a, a Mexican Olympian, but you have also lived here. You know, if you could send a message out to Donald Trump, what would you say? I don't want to say bad words, but <laughs> <laughs> but um, just. He doesn't deserve that place to become a president. You know, that place is a, it's a lot of respect, honor. You know, when, when we look at uh, the president of the United States, 
Um, we take our hats away from him. But uh, Donald Trump doesn't deserve, doesn't deserve that. Uh, that's my kind way of telling him a lot of things. <laughs> On fight night, who has the biggest source of pressure, the rising prospect yourself or the battle-tested former champion? Who do you feel, who has more pressure coming into the ring? Um, I, I think we're all human and we all have pressure to some moment. You know, we all um, we all get nervous during the fight. But uh, the, once we get in the, in the ring, all that's going to go away and he's going to give it his, his best, like the same as me. But in, in my case, um, I don't feel pressured at all. You know, on the contrary, I'm very motivated for this fight motivated because this is going to be a great card and um and finally i'm getting a, a chance to fight with uh with a big name this dranovic you know and i know if i win this fight it's going to put me in a big step closer to my dream is to fight for a world title so no pressure at all there's a lot of good fights on this card other than yours obviously which fight are you looking most forward to seeing oh since jose ramirez to surdo ramirez because i think surdo ramirez is gonna it's gonna be world champion that night and um and obviously, the main card, Pacquiao and Bradley, who doesn't want to see after those fights? And um, well, But if I were to pick, I would pick Surdo, Surdo and Abraham. It's going to be a, a great fight. Oh, I think um, it's gonna be a good fight, but you know, I think Santa Cruz has uh, been pro it's proven that he's one of the big ones right now, and I think uh, Santa Cruz is gonna beat him just for the experience and the, the bigger and the bigger fighter.